Hello everyone, my name is Art Russell, welcome to my channel. I'm aiming the content of this video towards viewers who are passionate about the Law of Attraction. People who may have been wondering, can the nature of my thoughts really have that much to do with the events that apparently show up in my life? I had a strong interest in the Law of Attraction from the time I was in my late teens to my early 20s when I was reading books such as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. As you can tell from the books behind me, that interest continued until this day, in fact. Uh, there are more than 110 books in this small library. And I have more books related to our spiritual nature. Now, it was only about 10 to 12 years ago that I started to see that these two subjects, the law of attraction and our true spiritual nature, actually dovetail together. And when we understand one more clearly, we understand the other. My understanding came together through a book entitled The Nature of Consciousness by Rupert Spira, and a Law of Attraction book entitled The Master Key System by Charles F. Hanel. And it was then that I started to see that they were talking about a deeper sense of I than the person. And this is one of the keys. I've written a blog since 2016 about the nature of consciousness, spirituality, and the Law of Attraction. And the main purpose in today's video is to share with you some articles that I think can really help point you toward manifesting more of what you desire in your life and less of what you don't. That's the sole purpose of this video. So here's at the top, that's the title of my blog at wordpress.com. So if you type in thinktwice.me on your browser of choice, that should bring you to it. And you'll see free articles there. This morning I went through some of the most important ones that I feel can really deepen your understanding and help you manifest more effectively. So if you'll just screenshot or copy down these titles, I truly believe that those posts can be beneficial. Now they're called articles. I call them articles, but they're really on average only about 600 to 1,000 words, so they're not very long. And they're packed with details from other books that are going to help open up your consciousness to a deeper way of processing reality. That's part of the key with this. If you're trying to manifest through the materialism paradigm in which it's based on matter, um, that's going to be very, very challenging. Having a positive attitude will no doubt help you, but we need to move into the consciousness paradigm of reality to manifest more effectively. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Rupert Spira in one of his fantastic books, entitled The Intimacy of All Experience. Maybe it can help you contemplate your idea about reality. There is no difference in our actual experience between the substance of the apple that appears in memory and the substance of the apple that appears in real time. Our only knowledge of both is made out of mind, out of seeing, touching, smelling, and tasting. And the substance of mind is only awareness. If you reach the point where you understand that all events, all persons, all objects are appearances in consciousness, you'll have taken a huge step forward in manifesting more effectively. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel or click a like. There's free information available, as I've mentioned, at 
my blog at thinktwice.me and also through my book entitled This Taste of Flesh and Bones, which is available from Amazon. Bye for now. We'll talk again soon.